hello students in last video we studied the first stored grain paste that is uh, pulse beater now in this video we will study the second uh, paste stored grain paste cytophilus oryzae okay so this uh, uh, cytophilus oryzae that is uh, also known as rice pebble okay so the rice pebble is the common name of the uh, cytophilus oryzae so here we study the classification so the when we study the classification uh, actually the cytophilus oryzae which is from class insecta they are the uh, vevilor uh, since they are from order coleoptera then the family which is curculinoidi then the genus cytophilus species oryzae so the cytophilus oryzae is the scientific name of the rice pebble so this is a very serious uh, stored grain pest uh, actually as it is a uh, stored grain pest when the grain which is present in the farm at that time also those uh, insects they attack on the grain and it is cosmopolitan in distribution okay so next we study the identification mark so here the see this rice pebble is very familiar to you actually this is the adult and this is the small pebble 4 mm in length with the reddish brown and dark brown or almost black in a color with the cylindrical body see if you observe the body it is cylindrical body and long curved rostrum is there so your rostrum the mouth part is there and which is actually helpful for process of um, making a tunnel in the grain so head which is with prolonged and slender snout uh, with the chewing type of the mouth parts and these chewing mouth parts they are located at its tips now the functional wings are also uh, remain hidden uh, beneath the dark brown elytra so these are the uh, first pair of wing we call it as elytra and uh, below that particular elytra the wings uh, which are actually helpful for flight purpose they are present now the life span of the adult pebble is of 4 to 5 month and the grubs grubs means the larva leg less larva so the grubs which are whitish in a color and they are very small in a size for example 5 mm in a length um and uh, uh, these grubs they are um, with the yellow brown head and they are always found inside the kernels of uh, the food grain okay mm, this uh, particular uh, rice pebble which prefer the rice but they can be found feeding on uh, wheat also maize and other uh, food grain also okay so the next one the life cycle of the rice pebble see the female which laid the eggs um means see the female when emerge out from the food uh, from the pupation stage after emergence as a adult now the female laid the eggs now the eggs which are laid by the female uh, and for that purpose the female bores a small and round hole in a soft part of the grain and uh, with the help of the mouth parts and there she laid the eggs and after the process of egg laying she again seal that particular area with the mucilaginous secretion so these eggs which are transparent white uh, oval and they are very minute in a size female laid uh, during her life span see the female laid 300 to 400 eggs total life span okay means whatever the uh, female laid the eggs during her total life span they are about 300 to 400 eggs so the incubation period for uh, the eggs it varies in case of summer season the 4 to 7 days are required and in case of winter 6 to 9 days are required now the grub uh, or we also call it as a larva so this larva which hatched out from the egg and it is opodus or it is legless larva so this is the larva now the 
larva which is uh, white in a color with fleshy body and yellow brown head is there now the young tiny grub which bores into the grain uh, kernel and lives within the grain and feeding on its starchy content and it just leave the outermost shell intact while she eat the every everything means the starch material which is present inside and there are four larval stages okay so the four molds are there and they completed their larval stage within 25 to 35 days so after completing the larval stage the fully grown grub makes a pupal case pupal case or we are saying that a pupal cell inside the grain so the pupa uh, which is just uh, a curve in appearance and it takes 3 to 6 days and after incubation period and after that the pupa will develop into the adult so the emerged they will immediately start breeding and give rise to new generation for the destruction of the grain and several generations are possible during a normal storage season of a grain okay so this is about the uh, life cycle of the rice wavel okay now next we study the nature of damage so the nature of damage here uh, you are able to observe the rice this is the damage made by the rice wavel so here we can easily observe the hollow rice grain okay here so these are the okay these are the uh, rice particles which are just make hollow by the wavel generally the infestation starts in grains only during the storage and the cytophilus oryzae which feeds on the whole grain of rice or wheat jowar maize barley etc now not only the adults but the larva also feed voraciously on the grains and so that the grain become unfit for the human consumption and we are unable to use the same uh, the material as a seed purpose same grains for the seed purpose because it is again become unfit for sowing uh, purpose also a thin tunnel that is formed by the grub from the surface towards inside the grain and the circular exit holes and the uh, strange spots which are also observed on the surface of the grain kernel and that is the symptom of the damage now in case of heavy infestation the grains become a mass of broken uh, matter and the adults they eat a small amount of grain making a shallow holes with the rugged edges but the amount of damage thus caused is negligible as compared with the complete hollowing of the grain by the larval stage okay so uh, this is about the nature of damage by the uh, rice waving okay now next one control measure see here the preventive measure or the preventive uh, method of controlling the rice wavel that is one of the best method now after harvesting we are just drying the grain in a sunlight effectively this is the uh, preve first preventive measure we already discussed it uh, in the pulse beetle okay then after drying in a sunlight the grains are stored in the gunny bags which uh, prevent the infection uh, then the use of neem leaves mercury powder of the uh, sweet flag then the rhizome of the uh, acorus calamus that is also useful okay so these are the uh, preventive methods now in case of uh, the rice wavel see here if you are going to store the particular um, grain in godowns large size godowns so for controlling now here the stored grain we are going to use the chemicals then in that the fumigation with methyl bromide is uh, effective 
then use of uh, bhc means applying the 5% bhc or 0.06% uh, pyrethrum dust okay in that particular uh, uh, house stored house where we are going to store the uh, grain okay to make the go down insect free we are following any one of the method how we are here the all dirt refuse material uh, should be removed and destroyed then all the cracks and crevices which are present either in the walls or floors or ceiling of the go down we are going to fill all those cracks and crevices with the cement and the rat holes should be closed by filling them with the cement uh, along with the glass pieces then the fumigation of the go down with the e d b r means ethylene dibromide okay then the spray with the insecticides like uh, we are using the insecticides like pyrethrum malathion or bhc to avoid the chance of contamination of the stored grain waste okay so this is about the chemical part and the curative measures are also there so in case of the curative measure the sieving and cleaning which removes the stages all the stages of the pest now uh, see here uh, curative measure means what though we are just followed the preventive uh, method uh, as well as the chemical control method for controlling the grain uh, sorry controlling the food grain by the pest but still if the pest attack the next thing we have to do the curative measure so that is sieving uh, and the cleaning which removes all the stages of pest mante thodkyat kay ta chalni marayche ani saaf karayche okay then the next one after above method the grain should be again followed by sunning and fumigation with the suitable fumigant okay this is the second method uh, and the last step is that the larva and the adults they are killed by exposing them for uh the 48 hours to the ethylene dichloride um, and the carbon tetrachloride mixture under the gas proof cover so uh, it is one of the method of fumigation so fumigation of infested grain with the methyl bromide is also effective and this uh, methyl bromide actually which kills all the stages of the pest including eggs okay so here uh, we are just study the curative measures also Uh, so all these are the control measures of rice weaving these are some uh, sites from where i collect the images thank you